guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video it's going to be all about my daytime skincare routine and I'm gonna try to find time to film the night skincare routine because it's kind of different but for today I'm gonna share with you all the products that I've been loving. This video is highly requested especially that it targets oily combination and acne prone skin. Unfortunately that's my skin type and what can I do except bear with it right? But I'm gonna share with you very effective products but take note that just because these products work for me does not automatically mean that it's gonna work for you but we can try because skincare after all is one big trial and error I'm not wearing any makeup right now so I can proceed to the entire process right away so let's get into it so just like any other normal person I'm gonna start by brushing my teeth my mom always tells me that looking good is nothing if you have bad breath and she is damn right about that. So here is me putting on toothpaste, brushing away. Come on guys, you know how this works. Since I can't go out often, my mouthwash is my pseudo tequila shot. Here I'm going to be putting on my Crest 3D White White Strips in Glamorous White. I don't use this every single day because it makes my teeth really sensitive, but it makes them look pretty, so it's good. And it's kind of awkward when I put it on. Sorry. Next, I'm going to be using my Bella Prescriptive's Glycolic Soap. And Glycolic Acid gets rid of acne, but it is crucial to go to a dermatologist so she can assess the right percentage that will suit your skin. I super love my Kiehl's Clearly Corrective White Skin Brightening Exfoliator and since it's a scrub, I only get to use it twice a week. It really helps even out and brighten your skin. I'm just gonna take a little amount and rub it all over my skin in gentle circular motions. Not to mention this scrub has a light therapeutic scent so it's definitely a treat. If you have extra sensitive skin, I recommend using mineral water for your final rinse because sometimes tap water may irritate your skin and cause a breakout. How friggin hassled can this get? After washing, dry up your skin using specifically a facial tissue because it is more gentle compared to regular paper towels or rolled tissues. Instead of putting on moisturizer, I like to use cold aloe vera gel to soothe my skin after exfoliating. This one from Holika Holika is awesome because it has 99% aloe, the highest one among all brands. I'm such a huge fan of eye patches and this one from Pure Derm is my favorite. This is very affordable. You can get this in Watson's for only 70 pesos for 30 sheets. It has collagen, vitamin E, and green tea that will help brighten up your under eyes and also make it look less puffy. I kind of avoid letting my twins see me this way because they're gonna freak out. For my lips, I want to go all natural so if you like the recipe, it's there and I use it to exfoliate my lips three to four times a week or if I plan to wear a matte lipstick. Remove the residues using tissue. It's been 20 minutes so I can now remove the eye patch. Ah, feels so good. Once the aloe vera gel has completely dried, I'm gonna use my Sebatrol Oil Control Pads by Obagi. This is a part of the Bello Acne Kit. This one is really awesome because it keeps the oil at bay and keeps your skin matte throughout the day. Once that's dry, I'm gonna put on the Bello Luminous Cream and it targets dark spots and any marks left behind by acne. Any acne prone person knows the struggle of the marks left behind so I hope this would really help but so far so good. I am now gonna put on the Bello Acne Drying Cream. It contains benzoyl peroxide which is obviously an acne treatment and I'm just going to spot treat the areas to prevent the acne from coming back. Since I'm not going out, I'm gonna skip the sunscreen, but if you are coming out, sunscreen is crucial, especially the summer. So that's it for my acne, oily prone skincare routine. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Mwah.